I'm sure you guys are so and I do apologize I have been gone for a while I'm sorry but life happens and right now I'm actually in the process of doing my mother-in-law's hair and she's right here but um, I'm giving her a roller set with rollers this rollers hi Ross hi Nick hey 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 everyone um so yeah so I'm just here if you guys have any questions natural hair questions feel free to ask it and uh, I'm trying to position us so that I can roll a set do two things at the same time because I was about to cancel this and I said you know what it is really not fair to you guys me always canceling because life came in the way but you know life happens and when life happens what do you do you roll with it so if you guys have any questions about your natural hair let me know so basically that is why I've been away from doing live chats and uh, the kids are out of school right now they're on their summer vacation hi Alicia they're on their summer vacation and with that I believe it gives me a little bit more time to do what I need to do so today we will be basically talking about summer is it best to okay we have questions now we have some questions rolling in <laughs> okay and i don't have my computer set up so i cannot see the questions how am i i'm doing great is it best to get so sewing and okay let me tell something with sewing i have personally i've not gotten a sewing before if you get any hairstyle done the key thing is regardless of what hairstyle you do you have to maintain it okay so if you get a sewing done make sure you are moisturizing your hair even when it is in that sewing state okay uh, make sure that you don't do it for too long because neglect can happen when you do a style and you keep it way for too long so that is my advice to that i don't know much about sewing just because i personally have not done it before but if anybody else on the line knows about sewings and about all the things you should watch out for what are good moisturizers for high prostate hair in high humidity weather uh yeah so in high humidity weather look for aloe vera anything with aloe vera in it uh when you moisturize your hair do it regularly take uh water make sure you're drinking your water because if you are dehydrated everything that you put into your body actually shows in your hair last so the last things that get nutrients in your health in your body are your nails your hair and your skin so if you are deficient in something it will always show in your hair your nail or your skin so drink water good moisturizers i prosty my daughter actually uses eating body works that's a good mo moisturizer uh when you moisturize your hair uh make sure that the last thing you do try using a thicker product okay and it is with the summer i find that i co-wash more so in the summer you might want to incorporate doing co-washes more in your hair so during the week try to incorporate co-washes always use a living conditioner so we have another question someone wants to know how to avoid dandruff keep your scalp clean as long as you know that it's dandruff and it's not another skin um scalp issue that you like uh, cirrhosis like eczema like other things like that keep <laughs> hi Tony. keep your scalp clean all the time in addition you can also one thing you can do is if you do see that you have dandruff you can also um, use apple cider vinegar diluted you know dilute apple cider vinegar with water use that on your scalp before you shampoo your hair and moisturize your hair use an oil like tea tree oil that used the tea tree oil put that in your oil mix like put it in uh, olive oil and keep that in your hair you can also use peppermint 
in your shampoo add some peppermint oil in your shampoo that also helps out a lot so yeah I'm trying to think what else you can use there's some products that say they help with dandruff with dandruff um jamaican mango and lime as a tingle shampoo that i know that like when i have dandruff i would use that so um i'm trying to see if i have any other questions popping up so i would use that so that is the main thing about dandruff i'm trying to think what else in the summertime if you go swimming protect your hair if you don't like wearing a uh, when um, what do you call it a swim cap you want to saturate your hair with some oil or even you want to saturate your hair with some conditioner before you jump into the pool okay yeah I think I'm yeah I'm kind of giving her a trim while I am also roller setting her hair because she's in need of a trim so yeah can I get a information about where you are from so everybody comment let me know where you're contacting me from so that we can be better acquainted so the product that i'm using on our hair i'm going to show you what product i'm using to roller set her hair i'm just pretty much doing a roller set just to stretch out her hair she has really soft baby hair so or from chicago so we're using the ORS leave-in conditioner right there. What's the effect of glycerin in your hair during the summer? So glycerin, let's talk about glycerin. Glycerin is found in so many places. I'm at my home house. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Logan. So glycerin is found at, in so many products. And what happens is that when you use glycerin in warmer, humid weather, what happens is that glycerin has a way of drawing moisture from the hair, from the atmosphere. It draws moisture into drier areas. So if your hair is dry and you use a product that contains glycerin, what will now happen is that the product, the glycerin, will make your hair absorb the moisture from the hair into your hair okay because the sun is drying up your hair so your hair is dry so let's say you do a twist or a braid out or braids that you want to do a twist out or a braid out with what will happen is that if you use products that has glycerin in it it will not leave your twist out defined okay your twist out will turn into puffs so you're gonna have like an afro puff tell Tolani i said i Hey, Talani. Oh, hi, Logan. I know. See, now I'm like, I'm like, Logan, Logan. I said, I know Logan. Hi, Logan. We missed you at the party. So, Talani. <laughs> She's in our room. But you was, Logan, you was a play date. Now that we didn't see you at the birthday party, you was a play date. Talani's birthday party video will be on DN Vlogs Live channel tomorrow at 4 p.m so if you've not yet been on our family channel dn vlogs live it's okay sweetie if you've not been on our channel dn vlogs live please check it out we're gonna show clips from tolani's she had the laser party um and then she also had a sleepover yeah see the rita that is why your twist out turns into an afro in the summer i mean glycerin has a really good hey hi france Franca, francia francia <laughs> sorry if i butchered your name i'm so sorry so glycerin is really good because it gives moisture to the hair but if you really don't want if you want to define twist out then you really don't want to um have products that has a lot of glycerin now how do you know if the product has a lot of glycerin let me tell you look at the ingredient list if your product so this is let me give you an example so this is a product that i'm using on my mother-in-law's hair and um this is it it's nearly finished but it's our ors olive oil leave-in conditioner it's very very moisturizing i love it that's why it's nearly finished it's like 16 ounces it lasts forever we've been using it now for i think two months now the thing is this the ingredient list i can't read it because 
it's very tiny and I wear glasses and my glasses is way over there. So if the ingredient list is as glycerin and it's as glycerin as the first five ingredients, that means that there is a lot of glycerin in there. So if you're someone that you are trying to avoid using products with glycerin and you're like, oh my gosh, all the products that I see in the store, all of them have glycerin. What am I supposed to do? I mean, does that mean I can't use any product? Well, this is what you're going to do. You're going to look for products that has glycerin, not as the first five ingredients. If it's like the seventh, that means there's not a lot of glycerin and you can use it, but still be mindful of the fact that you don't know the amount, the percentage of glycerin that is in there. So be very mindful of that fact, okay? So that is the issue with glycerin. Glycerin, everybody loves it, you know. Everybody and their mama loves it, but you know, you just have to be very, you have to educate yourself, you know, in that instance. So that is it. After this live chat, I'm gonna, I need to do a video on oils. What are your, if you're talking if you're talking about oils what are your worries what questions do you guys have when it comes to using oils in your hair does anybody have any question regarding using oils in their hair so what are your favorite oils you know and I should tell you that oils are no moisturizers I hope you guys know that oils are no moisturizers so be mindful of that so I'm just kind of combing out her hair and yes I'm using a rat tooth comb why because using a white tooth comb on her hair you see her hair you see how really soft and pretty it is it has nice curls it's really curly you know but because it's very fine if you use a white tooth comb on her hair it's a joke so what I'm doing is I'm just really giving her hair giving her a trim she probably wants to get a really, you know, cut, but I'm just going to give her a trim and give her a nice roller set. Okay. So, so someone also said that they were from Chicago. How is the weather in Chicago? I hope it's not cold. I hope you guys have finally hit summer. <laughs> you get yours from African import. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's do this. Yeah. So we did, uh, I did an hairstyle for Inyola. Have you guys seen the video of the hairstyle? I did a hairstyle for my daughter and I used rubber bands. And a lot of people worry about using rubber bands in their hair. And someone sent me a message saying, the reason why I don't use rubber band is because this is what the person said because it will damage my hair. Well, this is the thing. If you use rubber bands in the hair and if you use it too tightly, it could damage the hair. So that is one thing. Let me see if I can get the girls to come. Eniola. See, they can't hear me. They're doing their sister time. Because I really want to try and get them to come to talk about their hair routine. So if you guys have questions for them, ask me. And then when they come, we can ask them the questions. So, yeah. Okay, hi. I've seen your videos about your DIY oil. Okay, let me see. About your DIY oil. But my question is about a DIY oil for alopecia areata. Okay, I don't specifically know one. There's this lady called Jessie. I think her name is Jessie. I'm sure if you search for alopecia, she has information, and I believe she has an oil specifically geared towards alopecia. She has a YouTube channel. Ah, oh, I know a YouTube channel has alopecia in it, but and I know her name is Jessie or Jess. So she has one. I don't have. If you have to make an oil, of course, I'll put, let me say, I'll put castor oil in it. You're welcome, Dorita. I'll put castor oil in it. I will also add in some pumpkin seed oil in it because pumpkin seed oil has a way of stimulating hair growth. Peppermint oil. There's an oil that it's not a DIY oil, but I use it a lot. It's a specific oil from 
Body Cake. And so the website is bodycakellc.com. And she makes a really good oil. Uh, the oil has castor oil. It has a whole bar in it. It has other good things in it. So you can check it out. And that is all that I've been using with my daughter who has eczema. Um, so we've been using it and it has been helping with keeping the eczema under control. Because you know with eczema, a lot of things like um, a topic eczema has to do with if it's genetic and things of that sort. And she, her eczema is pretty much genetic, you know, because her daddy has it and all that stuff. So, yeah. But we've also been watching her diet, trying to... You know, it's kind of hard to watch teenagers diet because <laughs> they're growing and whatever they want to eat, that's what they're going to eat. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Okay, so while I have you guys here, what kind of videos do you want to be seen on our channel? You see, I can, you guys are like family, so I can ask you, what kind of videos do you want to see or are the videos that we're showing, are they good enough? You know, are there some videos that you'll be like, eh? I don't really care much about that video. You know, like when I did a video once with my daughter putting on my makeup and I'm like, hmm, I know that's not merely a video that you do on a hair channel. It's pretty much a video that you do on a lifestyle family channel. But yeah, I just decided to do it on Discovery Natural. So let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And yeah, so we're just combing out our hair. Okay. Trying to remove all the tangles. She doesn't have much tangles because we got rid of all the tangles. And then after that, I'm going to trim my hair. Are you doing a perm rod set? Yes, I am. I'm doing a perm rod set on our hair. You know, just to pretty much stretch it out because we live in Houston, Texas, and it's humid. <laughs> and, um, pretty much, <laughs> if you're not going to put a gel, I was going to use a gel at first. But when I saw the state of our hair, I'm like, mm -mm, we're not using gels. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm, I'm being very careful using too much gel and stuff. I really don't use gel that much. Maybe I use gel once every few months, like if I want to have a slick style, which most of the time I don't. <laughs> so I just wear my hair in a twist and stuff and pretty much do the same thing for the girls. So I'm using a, I'm doing a roller set and I'll show you. These are rollers that I actually, I've had them for over 20 something years. See, the old school rollers and I hear, you know, I'm pretty much using the small ones. Okay, someone asked the question. Ooh, and my tripod is about to fall. Okay, let's position that back up. Okay. So someone asked the question, and the question was, let me see if I can get it again. If you haven't done this already, I would like to see a video on all natural products for natural hair, if they exist. All natural products for natural hair will be DIY. I've read. <laughs> there, there's always all natural. Oh, um, there's another product line that I personally use. Kadima, and that's actually what I used to wash and deep condition my mother-in-law's hair. And I, Kadima hair products are pretty much all natural. They don't have any chemicals in it, to be honest with you. They really don't, and they're pretty much all natural. Yeah, I'm trimming her hair. Pretty much giving her a cut. <laughs> Just to shape it up a little bit. So Kadima hair products, I have a playlist on Discovery Natural on Kadima, you know, products. So you can check that out. Um, I seem so far away. So I've done that already. If you want a DIY on only products that you can make on your own, then you go to my DIY playlist on Discovery Natural Channel. There's a DIY playlist that you can actually make your own from your own shampoo, to your own deep conditioner, leave-in conditioner, hair oil, hair moisturizer, and so on and so forth, even hair gel. So I have everything. So if you're like, oh, me, oh, I cannot afford this product, oh, I don't live in America, oh, this and that and whatever, 
just go to that playlist all the ingredients that you need you can find it in your kitchen or in your supermarket or your market or whatever so and all those products i've tested them some of them i've tested them for months on the end some of them i've tested them for weeks but most of them i've tested them for at least a month so yeah um I love this old school. <laughs> they don't sell them anymore. Do you any have you any of you used this before? It's like rollers and this. I have had them forever. Forever, people. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna turn out really, really nice. So yeah. I'm giving her last roller set before she goes shorter. Because she's probably gonna go shorter, but I think this will be good enough once I really set it and show how to style it and we pick it out and it will look really really cute for the summer okay I used them before I still have mine from my relaxed days <laughs> and this is why I've had this for my relaxed days because during my relaxed days they didn't have those prom rolls that they have now with elastic you know the prom rolls that everybody knows they didn't have that when we, when I was relaxed. The last time I was relaxed back, well, um, they did have them, but when I was younger, back in my 20s, they didn't have those. And this I've had since I was in college. And that was a long time. Long, long time, people. Long, long time. So, yeah. But I'm nearly done with this, so let's keep on rolling, rolling. Yeah, I know. I say I'm nearly done and my mother-in-law puts her hand on her head like, hmm, are you sure you're nearly done? And I just dropped something. Wait, wait a second. Let me get what I just dropped. <laughs> okay. So how many of you have a tabletop dryer like this? You are reading my comments. <laughs> I hate trying to sleep on them at night. Yeah. She's not going to be sleeping on them. That's why I brought out this. I think I'm going to actually sit her in it for maybe 20 minutes. And then she can walk around the house with her hair. And you can see her hair. She's fully gray, you know. Um, her hair is really, really beautiful. This silver gray color that people dye their hair right now. Mommy, you know people dye their hair. They relax. Not dye, they color their hair. People actually color their hair this color. You know, and she has it um, like this. And we're going to, yeah, pretty much going to trim it. <laughs> yeah, because you can see the ends of the hair. Once the ends of your hair get this way, you really want to trim it down, you know, and stuff. So the style I'm pretty much doing for her is just a simple, simple roller set. So I'm just going to trim down that area, pretty much giving her like a almost like a taper cut you know people love taper cut hairstyle but i'm not oops but i'm not going to leave it without trimming it so that's pretty much what i'm doing and a little bit of this yeah okay and then i'm gonna use this and just to show you it's very i hear it's very very soft so i this works fine i won't suggest if your hair is thicker i won't suggest doing it a roller set better in is no a roller set is not better in humid weather no 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 and then again it depends on you have a tabletop for over 25 years yeah oh yeah a roller set also depends on what you use if you do a roller set i would advise using something like with hold something like a mousse or setting lotion setting lotion would be best to use for a roller set but i'm just doing this roller set just to stretch out our hair and then afterwards i believe i'm just going to twist up our hair and stuff yes i could have twisted it up but i just want to give her a different look you know sometimes you just want someone to pamper you and stuff and i think that's pretty much are you enjoying it yeah. she's enjoying it <laughs> she's really enjoying it so hey hi Bia bianca hi how are you so we're just here i finally came online can you imagine after being gone for so long i finally 
said, no people, today I'm going to try. And if you hear people cr laughing in the background, that is Eniola and Tolani laughing in the background. Um, so as I was saying yesterday, I released the video on their last day of school. And the reason why, I'll tell you, the reason why Eniola was looking sad was because, of course, she's going to miss her friends. And since she's going to miss her friends, she was a little bit sad. And some of her friends, you know, because the way the school situation is set up in our area, hey, hi, Vicky, the way the school situation is set up in our area, a lot of kids are going to another school. And, yeah, I think about, I don't know, maybe about 80% of her friends are moving. <sighs> Uh, but she'll be okay. She'll make new friends. She makes friends okay. Not as quickly as it's totally, but I tell her, I mom of four. I just got done watching the video of the girls last day of school. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit longer than our normal vlog videos, but we have so much fun, so much things coming up this summer. You know, we're going to be taking trips. The girls, oh yeah, I'm going to tell you guys. So the girls are in etiquette class, okay? Etiquette class and etiquette and empowerment class. So in these classes, like Tolani is in etiquette class and they pretty much teach her how to use the fork and the knife, how to sit at the table, what to do and things of that sort. And it's so cute. Oh, you enjoy it? Looking forward to it coming up in the summer. I know. Oh, you guys might travel. Oh, wow. I'm looking forward to your vlogs. If you guys haven't checked out Mom of Four, she has a vlog channel too with her four beautiful children. What happened? You've been gone. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I have been gone. No, life happened. But regardless of me not doing live chats, yeah she does play the keyboard <laughs> so regardless of me not doing live chats i've been showing videos from discover natural channel so if you you don't know on discover natural channel i've been doing videos regularly so please please if you've not watched any of our videos from discovery natural channel please check it out because i release videos every mondays and Fridays and sometimes even on Wednesdays okay oh my leg I'm tired <laughs> okay let me stand up so check out our videos uh, we did videos on why your hair is hard because some people were complaining to me that their hair was hard what can they do and I kept on typing 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 to respond to people and after a while I said you know I'll just do a video <laughs> So I just did a video. Okay. It's getting warm outside. I've been out and busy. And usually Sundays I hang out. Okay. That's, yeah, it's very warm. I'm going to take the girls to the pool after this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is that we're going to go to the pool. I'm going to cut up some pineapple. I got some pineapple and I've kept it in the fridge. And there's nothing better than eating some cold fruit outside. Now, let's talk about eating food and what it relates with hair. As I mentioned at the beginning of this live chat, we talked about what you put in your body really matters. And what is the last part of your body that receives nutrients? Your skin, your nails, and your hair. So what you eat matters. Some foods that can help you, because people ask me, what can I do? I want my hair to grow long, whatever, whatever. I say some foods that eat, I say eat the right food, drink your water, Eating foods that are rich in iron and protein are great. You can also incorporate onions into your um, nutrients. So onions contain sulfur. Uh, if you frequent on our channel, Discovery Natural, you'll know that I created a video showing you how to use onion juice in your hair. Have you guys ever used onion in your hair before? Let me know. Comment. Let me know. Now you say, "Oh, never." People, when I when they saw me put it, like, ah, lie, lie, which means never, never. <laughs> lie, lie, never. Put onion. Mm, won't I be smell like onion? I said, mm. "Yes, you will smell like onion." You tried it. What do you think? What do you think after using onion? 
What I do is that. Oh, Talani. Oh. How are you? I like my fidget cube. You want to show them your fidget cube? Yeah. Okay, come and show them your fidget cube. Oh, Logan was on here. She said hi. Oh. I don't know if she's there. You will stick to eating onions, I know. So, oh, okay, show them your fidget cube. Fidget cube. You have to look here. Right there. Mm -hmm. You have to look here. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay. You have to be consistent. If you are doing onion, using onion in your hair, you have to be consistent. Very consistent with it. So, uh. Bye bye. Bye bye. So yeah, so eating uh, like spinach foods, why consistent? And let me tell you something, if you are using, if you are using any products in your hair, if you want to see results, you have to constantly be using it because that is the way you see results. So being consistent means you do it over and over again. Every time you wash your hair, use onion. That is the only way you... Don't say that you use the onion one time and you feel like using it one time, you are fine. It will work. No, you have to be consistent. And a lot of people don't see results because they're not consistent. So if you're not consistent with doing whatever you're doing with your hair, if you're not moisturizing enough, if you're not deep conditioning and, uh, the, you know, frequently, regularly, if you don't have a routine, and that's why people will be stressing. They say, do you have a hair routine? Do you have a routine? When you have a routine of things you do, like if you want to lose weight now, mm, like moi, if you want to lose weight and you are saying, oh, I'll go work out today. Maybe, maybe I'll go next week. Maybe I'll go. You won't see results. So with anything that has to do with results, you have to be consistent. And that is life. Even if you are someone that you are a Christian and you want to get closer with God, you have to be consistent in praying. You have to be consistent in reading the Bible, in doing things like that. Anything. It doesn't have to be biblical or whatever. Anything. If you want to do well in school, you have to do what? Consistently study. Okay? So that is why for the person that was asking, why must they be consistent? Yeah. So, exactly. And yeah, and consistency ex helps you. Yeah, saving money, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we are nearly done. We have just this little amount to do. So I think I'm run out of the blue rollers. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough blue ro blue rollers or whatever. Oh, let me see. I might have enough because if I don't have enough blue, then I might have to use a different con color. But I think she has a lot of more hair at the front, so we'll go from there. Think I have any. Hmm. Anyway, let me just use this one. I think I can pretty much make do. Okay. So that is it. Um, nuts, nuts like almond nuts. They're also good for hair growth. Eating nuts. Um, pumpkin seed nut. Um, pumpkin seeds are also good. So, yeah. So that is also good to eat and I'm trying to think what else or what else is good to eat okay <coughs> Next one. Mm -hmm. I love pumpkin yeah I like pumpkin seed um I need to find somewhere where I can buy a big bag because <laughs> I put pumpkin seed when I make my omelet um, oatmeal in the morning, I'll put pumpkin, pumpkin seed in it. Uh, when I snack, I'll snack on pumpkin seeds. You know, like make a trail mix of pumpkin seeds. Mm, yeah. So, let me do this. I'm glad you came back. I know, I know I'm going to try to not miss so much live chat. Uh, we will be traveling uh, soon, but... I'm going to see what I can do. And of course, when I'm traveling, I can't do live chat because, you know, data, connection. Yeah, I don't know. Have you guys been on a cruise before? Because I need to do more research. We're going on a cruise and I need to find more information about cruise. I can't swim, so 
we'll just say blood of Jesus over the boat <laughs> and God will help us <laughs> but it's something that we've always want to do you know as a family we we don't do much we don't travel so much yeah so this is something we've been all looking forward to yeah so okay um i think i missed somebody's comment i've never been on a cruise before i've never been on a plane oh wow you should try so whenever you get a chance you should try to go on a plane it's you know take the children you know it's it's a really nice so usually you you drive right i love road trips too <laughs> but i do like a good plane ride try to find a place that sells nuts and seats in bulk the price are better okay i'll i'll do that thank you so much for that advice thank you so much yeah so what i'm just gonna do is i'm just gonna roll this up yeah wow oh my goodness from mississippi oh yeah 17 hours the longest trip i ever had i drove <laughs> i know i told my mother in law this <laughs> she was like why why did you do that anyway i drove back in 2004 2004 yeah it was 2004 i drove from wisconsin to Texas, Houston, 20 hours pregnant. <laughs> we didn't drive straight. It was 20 hour drive, but we actually stopped um, twice. We, it took us two days, you know, because you no know, way you're pregnant and all that. You ladies know that. <laughs> oh. So, but it was a nice, it was a nice drive. So as I'm, oh, my rollers just fell again. So I'm gonna go off camera just a second right now, just to pick up these rollers. And we're going to be back again. Voila. Hello. So we're back again. But um, so I drove that long distance and it was interesting because I drove one car. My husband drove another car. And we're moving, you know, newlyweds, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so it was, it was a nice getaway and just, and we don't regret moving from cold Milwaukee, you know. If you've been on our vlog channel, you saw us travel back to Milwaukee to see my brothers and stuff. So, yeah. So, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? See, I see all my regular friends on this. Yeah. Mississippi. Nancy, I don't think Mississippi is as cold as... Um, <laughs> You'll never do it again. <laughs> Mississippi, good. I'm so glad to see you're doing good, Nancy. Mississippi it can't be as hot as Houston. Yesterday, we got into the car in the morning um, to take the girls to educate class, and it was already 90-something. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> if it's like this much, yeah, you guys are like, you're cutting a lot of our hair. Well, I'm giving her, yeah. She's probably going to go shorter, but right now we're just going to keep it this length. Um, we are, it was so hot. And then the other day it was like 105. I was like, what? And my daughter's like, oh my gosh, we're going to roast. We can pretty much put an egg on the pavement and fry egg. That's how hot it was. So today that the girls are like, oh, mommy, we want to go swimming. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I went swimming with them. I don't know if you guys can see. And I got a little bit of a tan, like right there. And today I know I'm going to get hot again. Yeah. Texas, a lot hot and humid. Oh, and then Texas weather, their weather, they never want to make, it doesn't, it doesn't want to make up his mind. Some days, like in the springtime, sometimes it's like hot. And then you go outside and you're like, oh my gosh, it's cold. I'm like, make up your mind. And you know, when hurricane season yet again, you guys know what happened with Houston, Hurricane Harvey. So this year, I'm like, God, please, 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 don't let it flood again. We cannot take another year of flooding. We have some places that are still flooded. My roof, I just fixed my roof. Can you imagine? I just fixed my roof a um, couple of weeks ago. It cost a lot of money, but I just fixed it. So everything is good. The house is ready for hurricane weather, but it was bad. We had to pretty much replace a lot of places. I don't want to think about it. So we had like buckets in the attic <laughs> because you no know, below the Mississippi River, you know, that line, 
it's all attic and above it's all um you know going to indiana missouri detroit all those areas they use basements okay so i kenisha i saw you girl uh weather bipolar weather really in michigan the only things we know about michigan is um uh parking wars we watch it every time so the girls are like when i say michigan they're like oh parking wars yeah <laughs> I know. So, but I'm done with our hair right now. I'm going to quickly just show you a little bit. So, this is, you said just use these rollers on our hair. And that is pretty much it. So, she's just going to let it dry. I'm going to sit down under the dryer for, I would say, for like 20 minutes. And pretty much that's it. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this live chat because I need to take the girls to the pool. I need to do a video. So I don't know how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to take them to the pool and then work on the video later. But I hope you guys have a wonderful summer. Thank you so much for joining me. I want you guys to be blessed, okay? I want you guys to know that whatever you're going through in your life, trust God. Because, you know, so many people this past week, they were depressed and they decided to commit suicide. There's no reason to take your life. If you are going through hard times, if you're going through depression, look for someone to talk to if you don't feel like talking to somebody go online you know go online make a friend online talk to someone please please talk to someone if you've not heard from a friend in a long time please talk to them and um if you want to talk to me i'm open you know you can always send me a message you guys know i always answer messages the best way to send me a message is on my facebook page Instagram also you can send me messages there if you don't have Facebook but um I just want to know that let you know that you are loved even if you don't think you are loved you are loved and God loves you and I love you too so thank you so much for joining and I'll see you guys next week by God's grace we'll see you guys next week for our next live chat talk to you all later and be blessed bye